Hello everyone, this is Satya Prakash. Welcome to my channel. This is part 24 of Web API. In this video, I will discuss how to consume COVID-19 API in SP dot and grid view to get the country details. So, uh, in this video, we'll discuss that is uh, how to convert countries as JSON object of COVID-19 API to C# -sharp class and check COVID-19 API response using Postman and how to consume uh, COVID-19 API in ASP.NET and display records in grid view. So guys, before going through this part 24, please visit my part 22 that is how to consume ASP.NET web API in ASP.NET grid view using HTTP client and you can get this video in my playlist called ASP.NET web API tutorial. So I have few steps uh, I will discuss with you. So first step is I need to add web form in sp.net empty project so guys here i discussed about this uh, project earlier in my part 22 so in this existing project i need i have added one web form that is called country details covid 19.spx and it has two files .spx and .spxcs and second step is i need to add a class for mapping to COVID-19 API response. So here I have created one folder called COVID-19 and uh, here I'll tell you I have added one class called country dt.cs right and step number three is go to COVID-19 API URL for countries. So this is the URL I need to check for that countries. So here this is the URL, right? You can see https covid19api.com. You just scroll down and you you can get that documentation on Postman. Just click on it. And guys, here in your right, in your left hand side, left hand side, you can see there is so many coronavirus COVID-19 API for different GET requests. And as per this uh, video's requirements, I need to implement that countries API. So click on its countries. So when you click on countries, you can see GET request for countries a URL HTTPS api.covid19api.com slash countries so it will return all the available countries and provinces as well as countries log for 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 country request right and in your right hand side for specific get countries you can see the location and the json object response here right so this is about part three uh, step number three and step four is we need to check the covid19 api response using postman so guys here i have got that url right the covid19 api.com.country so we need to implement this covid19 api in our project so we need to check this uh, api to get the response using postman so this is the postman tool and in the text box you just paste this uh, url select the get request and click on send So guys here I got the 200 OK status and I have I have the response here so I, I am getting all the employee uh, sorry all the country details with its name slog and ISO2 so I have seen uh, all the um, all the country and its related uh, information right this is the all about the response which is coming from that API URL all right so step number five is convert country json object to c sharp class so for that i need to go to this url https uh, json to sharp.com so this is the url right so what i'll do is guys here you can see this is the api response right so we need to this is the country's json object so we need to convert this json object to our c sharp class so what i'll do is we just copy this up to this right copy these things go here and you can see the uh, the motto of using this url is convert json to c sharp class 
so inside C there is two section one is JSON one is C sharp so here we copy we just paste these things whatever we copied so we need to close with this bracket all right and after then there is one button called convert so we need to click this one so guys here I can see the class which is converted converted from JSON object to our C sharp class right so you can see the property name country sl slog ISO2 so same way the uh, under root class there is uh, three properties has been defined that is called country slog and ISO2 with get and set accessor and this return type strings all the string type and access modifier is public so and uh, and there is one node uh, there is one information if you want to deserialize your JSON object to C sharp class so you can use that command here right you can see you can use this command alright so root is nothing but the class name and is the object and the JSON convert dot deserialize object and I list of root class and under whatever response you should mention here you can take it as a reference while you implement in your code all right so uh, next is add code in sp.aspx for grid view design so before that I will continue with the, uh, step number five so guys here I have seen the C sharp class right so we just copy this go to my visual studio and here I have uh, added one country DTCS uh, class file right so just click this one so here you can see inside class I have added uh, three property names whatever it is generated online using the, this URL so this root class file is not required it is not mandatory but to get the response this response should be matched with this property name so I just copy these three property names to my class so I copy these things and paste and save these changes alright and uh, go to my step 6 so add code in .aspx for grid view design so guys here I go to country details covid 19spx I just open this one So this is my code for grid view design all right so I'll tell you everything in the step by step so here I have added the title that is coronavirus COVID-19 API using sp.net grid view all right and here I have added the bootstrap CDN file to implement the some bootstrap CSS to our grid view and uh, I have added one h1 tag uh, that is available countries and provinces in uh, coronavirus COVID-19 API and this is uh, for grid view right grid view close uh, open tag and closing tag and inside I have added the grid view ID and bootstrap CSS class class uh, property names and uh, here is auto generate column equal to false allow paging e equal to true so I have implemented some paging concept in grid view and on page in index changing on page index changing right so in after then I have uh, added columns and inside columns I have added the bound field data field property name same to as our in our country DAT.CS so country slog ISO2 so same thing we have we, I, I mentioned in our data field uh, data field is country slog and ISO2 but header text I have whatever you want to for that is visible to the end user for better understanding so ISO2 name slog name and country names right here country is for country name slog is for slog name and ISO2 for ISO2 name and after then I have added one label if anything any error is happening to your COVID-19 API then it will show you exceptions that API is running or not so make sure uh, your internet connection should be active because this is the live coronavirus COVID-19 URL 
this is not a local this is the live one so uh, just make ensure that your internet connection is uh, active or not otherwise it you will not get the response right all right so this is all about dot spx file design and step number seven is add code in dot spx dot cs for consume covid19 api and grid view binding so guys here i'll go to covid19 details country details covid19.aspx.cs file so i open this file name so this is the c sharp code uh, you can see it as code behind file so in page load event uh, is post back if not true uh, that is the it will call the this dot bind grid so inside this method i have added try block right try block is for exception handling and uh, here in enumerable type object is object getting from class employee a country date right so here i can see the class name is our country date right and the object is set to null and here i consume web api using http client class so for that i have added two uh, namespace one is using system dot net dot http using call web api using gridboot.covid19 so this is for http client class this is for access the class file and its properties that is country dt.cs file and in uri i added S that is covid19 api url you can see right so we just mention here that is covid19 api right so just uh, remove this in the comment section so in URI added COVID-19 API URL as a string parameters sc dot base address new URI and the same URL we need to mention here in our code that is https api dot COVID-19 API dot com and consume data and get async method uh, text parameter as a string the request URI and the request URI in URI it is called the API controller name so guys here you can see after slash there is countries right it is nothing but the uh, you can say it as a controller api controller so here i have mentioned this up to dot com covid19 api dot com and the remaining part i have mentioned here as countries as a controller name and I make it this variable to wait using quit method and I read the data that is consume api dot result and after then i'll check the condition using a read data variable is success status code i have mentioned here uh, that is i need to uh, set it as i numerable right so added i list class and this is the type of element in i list they are getting data from country date class is a method right this is the uh, this is the code i have mentioned here using a variable called display data all right after then using this display data which set to as wet method and before displaying the records in grid view we need to collect data into this i enumerable object that is emp obj so whatever data we got we just make it as a result so display data dot result assigned to emp obj right and finally we after then we'll bind this data to our grid view control so grid view control is nothing but grd uh, country date right because i have mentioned i have mentioned the uh, grid view idea as a grd country date is getting the data source from i enumerable object that is emp obj then bind data so this is line two lines of code is used to uh, bind the data to our grid view that's all set about consume the web api and in x and in cache block i have mentioned the label error dot text please check with whether web api is running or not this is for exception part and next line of code is that is a protected void void uh, on page index changing it is used for uh, paging and uh, in the grid view control so make is gid country date dot page index equal to e dot new page index and uh, this is the <coughs> A method we have called here that is the bind grid right because in this method we have implemented the logic of consume web api okay this all about the code uh, for uh, implementing the paging in grid view so 
so all of our the implementation of code in our c sharp file is completed now it's time to run so this is the last step of a part uh, six, uh, that is step 7 implement code in dot spec dot cs for consume covid 19 api and grid view binding so after then guys we need to build our solution just right click on it and uh, build our solution right once the build is succeeded we need to run our application here so guys i'm getting the output so this is the uh, name of our web form uh, uh, page that is country details covid19 dot spx and i am getting the response from that uh, you are uh, that covid19 api url right so this one so now i can see all the countries with its log name and iso2 name and this is the page index i have implemented that is for paging so uh, i i need to check for uh, page 2 so click on page number 2 now i'm getting the page number 2 which uh, there are some countries so we need to check first so i'll check for new zealand so this is my sp.net page and we need to check the same response in postman api for um, that is from uh, the covid 19 live url so for new zealand we need to check for it so uh, just scroll down in our uh, postman so see for country new zealand slog name is new hyphen zealand and iso2 is ng right and you can see the same here in our sp.net so new zealand slog name is new hyphen zealand and iso2 is ng and we'll check for iceland right so for iceland we'll check here in postman okay this is country iceland and slog is iceland and iso2 is is so here we'll check for iceland and slog name is iceland and it is uh, iso2 name is is and if you we can check here for other page so click on uh, 3 page index 3 so i can see the page index 3 so if you if, if we want to check on page number 10 then we can see the country with uh, with its log name and iso2 name for page number 10 so guys in this way we can implement our COVID coronavirus COVID-19 API live URL in our sp.net grid view so so guys this is my channel subscribe and share it to get the updated knowledge on .NET, .NET Core, C Sharp, SQL Server, sp.net MVC, Angular, GitHub and DevOps so in this video we have discussed that how to get the covid19 api url how to convert country json object of covid19 api to c sharp class and how to check the covid19 api response using postman and steps to call covid19 api in sp.net grid view and display the records in grid view so that's all about guys for today thank you for listening have a great day